special thing this morning, all right? Because as we talked about, every city across the United Kingdom and Scotland and England, Wales, Northern Ireland, uh, because it's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year, 70 years on the throne, as Lisburn City, the Mayor has nominated us to be, to receive the Queen's Platinum Tree, and that is such a privilege. But I'm going to ask Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant, Mr. David McCorkle, to come up and just say hello to you. And I was looking at his uniform. Now, we have a lovely uniform and a lovely badge, but that's nearly as nice as Fort Hills. <laughs> Boys and girls, it's lovely to be here this morning, and um, the, the headmaster asked me to tell you who I am and what I do, so I'll uh, say a little bit about that. Um, first of all, he mentioned about the Queen. Well, you've all seen pictures of the Queen and who next year will have been on the throne for 70 years. That means she's been on the throne for seven times longer than those of you who are 10. So think about that. That's a long time. And she's been alive even longer than I've been alive. So uh, it's quite remarkable. And obviously, to mark an anniversary like that, it's a jubilee, so it's a platinum jubilee. Now, Lord Lieutenants have been around for about 500 years, and um, they were introduced by King Henry VIII. I don't know how your history is, but he was a big, big, fat king who had many, many wives. <laughs> um, and at that time, they uh, had to keep law and order, so kept everyone in order. And they also raised an army to defend the local area. That's why I'm wearing this uniform, although it's probably developed a bit over the last 500 years. Today our role is very different. Uh, the Queen cannot attend all the events. I mean, she couldn't attend 70 tree plantings across the UK. So my job is to represent her at events which a member of the royal family might attend. I, if any of the royal family come to County Antrim, I would meet them. And recently, the Mayor uh, and I met the Earl and Countess of Wessex who came to the Linen Museum. You will also see that, uh, and she was introduced, Kira here, who is my Lord Lieutenant's cadet. And Lord Lieutenants have exceptional cadets who serve for a year with them and attend all the events. And Kira is an army cadet. There are cadets for the Air Force and the Navy. And now some of you who are getting on a bit in age, from 12, you can join the cadets and be with them until you're 18. And there's lots of ventures to be had, and uh, it's very exciting. So, And there are attachments around Lisbon, so if you have the notion to do it, think about it as you get older.
queen wants to plant lots and lots of trees now and into next year. But also, David Attenborough is the ambassador for the United Kingdom. We have got uh, Lady Mary, who is the ambassador for Northern Ireland for the Queen's Green Canopy. And that's a, another new title that you've got, along with the many others you have. So Lady Mary, would you like to say a few words as the ambassador of the Queen's Green Canopy? Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be back in this wonderful school. You know I come very regularly and have got to know some of you very well. Anyway, it is such a privilege for me to be the ambassador, and this is my badge, uh, which shows uh, a tree. And you have this wonderful tree that's going to be um, planted by our Lord Lieutenant very soon. But you're surrounded by trees, and how many of you know who Ed Sheeran is? Do you know Ed Sheeran the singer? Well, his uncle, his granddad, went to friend's school in Lisbon and is a great friend of mine. And we were driving along one day to where he stayed during the war with his family. And he said, stop, stop the car, stop. And I said, what's wrong? He said, do you see that tree? And it was as tall as those trees at the back of your school. He said, I planted that tree when I was 12. And he started to cry with emotion. So you see when you bring your grandparent, when your grandparents and you bring your children to this new school that's going to be built, you'll be able to point to this tree and say, I was there the day that tree was planted. And look around you at the beauty of our trees. They make homes for the birds and the bees and insects. And they're lovely and learn the names of them. The first book I ever received as a child was about trees and I've always had a passion for them. So I'm very privileged to be here today to see your Lord Lieutenant plant this tree. Thank you so much. Okay, and I'm going to invite uh, the Mayor of Lisburn, Mr. Stephen uh, Martin, to come on. So uh, Mr. Martin had uh, nominated our school to receive this tree for the city of Lisburn, which we're really privileged about. So <coughs> microphone's all yours, uh, Mayor Martin. Thank you very much. I just wanted to say hi how much I was so excited about coming to see you all today. This has been in my diary for a couple of weeks and I thought, I can't wait till the Monday morning I come to meet all the pupils from Fort Hill Integrated Primary School. The Lord Lieutenant very kindly asked me to pick a school to say where this lovely new tree would go as part, as Lady Mary Peterson said, about the Queen's very special project um, about the Green Canopy. I thought, well, it's going to be a very tough competition uh, but I thought there could only be one, and that could be Fort Hill Integrated Primary School. So I am really, really proud to be here. And I loved the singing earlier on, guys. That was really, very good. And I know that, actually, when I seen you all out coming in earlier on, everybody was very excited because um, they knew that the Lord Lieutenant and the Dean Mary Peters was here today for a special occasion. So I think it's, it's just lovely to be here and see you all. And I hope everybody has had a lovely morning and look forward to um, let me see how uh, uh, the, the tree planting goes. And like Mary, Mary Peters has said, remembering this for years to come. I'm going home and telling all your adults about it and all your friends as well. So I think it's something that um, in future years we'll be able to look back and say, you were here when that happened. So um, with, as Lord Lieutenant said earlier on, there's going to be lots of fun things over the next six to eight months as the, Her Majesty the Queen celebrates her or diamond, or, or platinum jubilee. So get involved, enjoy it, um, because it will be a big celebration. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of today. Thank you, Ms. Rose. So, now we come to the tree planting ceremony. Um, boys and girls, as you've heard, this tree has been um, planted for the Queen's platinum canopy. And it's my job to say, um, that she has gifted this tree personally to the school as she has done to 69 other schools in cities across the United Kingdom. There was a 70th tree which she planted about two weeks ago at Crathy Primary School in Scotland which is very close to where she goes on holiday at Balmoral. 
So this is, uh, and there's a few being planted, so this is one of the first of those 69 to be planted. And I look forward to seeing it growing over the years. And we're going to find some conkers. Okay, do you know what conkers are? Yeah. Are we going to find some? Three. I got one there, and there's one for you. Oh, one, oh, you got one. Did you get one? I Look, there's another one for you. Ooh. Do you see it grew in that shell? And then it popped open, and out came a lovely shiny conquer. We're all going to plant them and it'll grow into a big tree like this. Do you see this tree that you can climb when you're big? Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Now you put that side down. Do you see the wee, do you see that wee bit there that goes down and you push it in and then you fill up with soil. Yes. 